Right, so this tutorial is going to run through how to draw this lever valve in SOLIDWORKS. Um, so we'll start off with the basic um, cylindrical portion. Uh, I had one of these taps and these measurements were taken with the calipers, so I'll put them in pretty precisely as I found them when I measured it. Uh, so first of all, we'll start a circle and we will dimension that to be uh, diameter 23 mil. And we'll simply extrude that and I'm going to extrude it to a height of 13.5 mil. That's the size of the handle I had. Uh, we'll then put a chamfer on the top. So we'll go and hit chamfer and it's a 2 millimeter chamfer. And there you have it. And there's also a hole drilled all the way through. So we'll start a sketch of a circle. And we will set that to be diameter 5 mil. And that is cut all the way through. So features, extruded cut, and through all. So there we have it. Now underneath, uh, it's hollowed out, so we need to make um, provisions for that. So I'm going to look at 90 degrees to that surface, and I'm going to start a sketch on that surface. The first thing I want to do is set a vertical and a horizontal construction line. So if I tick this for construction, it will give me a dotted line. The good thing about that is it's um, not going to be counted for any features such as extrusions later. It's never going to get in the way, but it's there if I need it for a construction. So what I want to do now is <clears throat> draw a circle there and one there. And I want to draw a line from the center here up to a point there. And also another line from the center here up to a point there. And I'm going to use the trim tool trim away all these pieces that I don't need. Now I also need another uh, line over here. You'll see what these are for in a moment. And trim away the pieces I don't need. So I don't need this piece, that piece, that piece. Just delete away everything apart from those two shapes. And just to give them some dimensions then, I'm going to dimension that to that and set that to be a measurement of 3 mil. I want this to be a vertical measurement of 3 mil. Again, I just got these measurements from the tap which I have in front of me and I, I measured them with the calipers. Three and this circle and that circle are going to be offset by 2 mil. <coughs> and that circle 2 mil as well. So what I need to do now is tell this line to, um, uh, for instance, if I drag this, you can see it's not fully defined because this line does not know where to point or where to go. So one possible way of doing that is to draw another line from there to there. Select that line and set it to be for construction and then hold control and select the little line and the long line and make those collinear. That will make those uh, fully constrained. Now I know I have to do that a few times, so for construction, from there to the center, hold control, click both lines, call in here. It's just important to get the sketches fully constrained, so there's no surprises. And one more. And there we have it. We've got a fully defined sketch, so we can now just take a look at what we have. It's those two shapes. So those two shapes, I want to go extrude cut. And if I extrude cut those down, they are removed. Uh, instead, I actually want those to stay, so I better make a small adjustment to that sketch. Edit sketch. I'll actually put back in that circle. And now if I go extruded cut, if I select that sketch, it will ask me which profile I want to extrude cut. I want to extrude cut this profile. And I want that to go down a depth of 4 mil. And <clears throat> there we have it. So I also want to do another sketch of a circle on this plane. And this is quite a simple one. Snap it on like that and do another extruded cut. And again, this is 4 mil. So now we've got the underside of that. And finally, there's one more sketch on the bottom. It begins with a circle. 
and that circle's diameter is going to be diameter 8.1 and there's also going to be a line down to the left make sure it's vertical <coughs> and another line down to the right make sure it's vertical and those lines are going to be six millimeters apart and of course to center them I have to make sure that one is out three mil from the other and I'll trim away this bit of the curve to the left the bit of the curve to the right and I think now we're in business so features extruded cut one more time and that too is going down four mil so that's what the underside of that looks like that isn't the most complicated part of this but uh, what I want to do now is actually get the handle working so I'm going to pick a plane let's just say the front plane and I'm going to draw this sketch sketch looks a little bit like this and I will dimension that so that this line is 16 millimeters long one six this angle should be 140 degrees this line is going to be 12 and this horizontal line will be 60 and just to fully define it I don't want it to go to the center instead I want it to be four millimeters away from the center now typically if we were to extrude that handle we would need to draw another line or offset that line down but you can actually extrude a line like that if you call up the regular extrude feature and hit the sketch it will do what's called a pin extrude a thin feature extrusion and it's nice because it shows off a different feature so first of all I don't want it to be a depth of four millimeters I want it to be something like let's say 20 how that look? see how 20 looks okay and I don't want it to go one-sided I want to change blind to mid plane mid plane and that looks a little bit strong so I might just change that to 18 there you have it and also I don't want to go down that deep at all so down here it says 10 millimeters I want to change that to approximately 3 millimeters now it just happens that it worked out correctly but if not uh, if you were to get that for instance just take this flip direction button there you have it I'm actually going to take that down to maybe 16 millimeters so it looks right that's much better now if you wanted you could go auto fill at corners and it would fill at these corners for you why not do it in fact let's just put a radius of one millimeter on and take auto fill at corners and if you press ok it will fill at the corners there a little for you now, i just want to give that little review i actually want that to be a little different uh, let's just make this go down to, oh that, i see what i did wrong there i'm going to go down uh, three mil this is the auto fill at corner radius one mil there okay that's much better so there I have it, there's the handle, <clears throat> and if I wanted, I could 